Well, we're trying to reintroduce bobwhite quail back into West Virginia. I mean, we have a few quail in our state, but really and truly we lost, for all practical purposes, we lost our entire quail population in the winter that uh, Governor Rockefeller sent, sent everybody home because the terrible blizzard was coming in the late 70s. Here at the Tallman Wildlife Management Area, we have a lot of what we need as far as thermal cover and, and, and a lot of the different things the quail will need to thrive. So we've been working on this area since we talked to the governor about it a couple of years ago. And this is our, our initial release. We're hoping to have uh, multiple releases after this, but uh, we've uh, collared the birds and we're gonna be monitoring you know, how they're doing and things over the next several weeks. But we're real excited. I mean, this is a, a again, there's almost 40,000 acres here and it's just, it's ideal uh, habitat for quail. And we're, we're hoping that this reintroduction will be successful. Hunting and the appreciation of nature and fishing, you know, bring us back to our roots in so many different ways and are so good for all of us. I mean, it is a, it is a quietening and a stilling of our soul. We're constantly looking to reintroduce uh, species of, of animals, especially game, game animals. Uh, the, the people in West Virginia have been hunting and, and, and chasing all over these mountains for the last couple hundred years. So it's really a great day to be a sportsman or woman in West Virginia. And it's, uh, like I said, we, we thank Governor Justice for supporting the project. And, you know, he, he was excited to come down here as, as we were today to, to release these quail. So we're real excited.